Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and here's a Mac booting up, and we're going to show you the difference between a hard drive and a solid state drive, and what difference it makes. So here is the hard drive booting up. This is going to take a moment. It's going to fully boot to the desktop, and we'll take a look at it here in a moment. So you can see it's starting up. Now this is the standard 5400 RPM drive in a 2 gigahertz quad core i7 MacBook Pro. This is a 15 inch MacBook Pro. This was the standard option with the 500 gigabyte drive and we thought we'd swap it out for a 256 gig solid state drive. So you can see it's starting up and will stop once we reach the desktop. And you can see it flickered there and there we have the desktop. So we're going to swap over here. And what you'll see here is we're going to remove the old hard drive. We remove the bottom cover of the MacBook Pro. Remove the old hard drive. Unscrew this. Pull the hard drive out. Take off the SATA connector. And we need to take off the little side mounting pins here or screws and place them in the solid state drive. So we'll take these off. And in fast motion, place it back in. We're screwing down the, the hard drive itself. We're going to put on the bottom panel, screw that into place. We're at about 125% of normal speed. And then we're going to boot up the solid state drive. And then at the end, we'll compare what both of them look like while they're booting up. Here's the solid state drive. Now what we did is we cloned the solid state drive so that it's exactly like the 5400 RPM hard drive. We used the time machine backup to restore it and then boot it. So it's the exact same setup. So let's take a look at both of them. Let's see what kind of difference it makes. So we're 10 seconds in. The screens look identical. You can see one is a little bit later. The solid state drive is a little bit later at night, so the, the lighting is a little bit different. And the solid state drive is done at 22 seconds. We'll wait for the regular hard drive here. These are the exact same videos you saw before, but I wanted to show you them uh, before and after both together. So here we're at about 40 seconds, so we're approaching double the time of the solid state drive. And we've just passed that. And you can see the results are dramatic. The solid state drive wins.